nine weeks. Holy cow. How did we get here? Um, I just blows my mind how fast this has gone. I think I say this at the beginning of every video. I'm going to talk a little bit about my uh, successes and my need for help this week. Uh, and then I have a little something extra I want to throw at you. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Erin here for uh, my weekly update, bariatric surgery. Uh, for those of you who are new or haven't been around, I'd like to just kind of fill you in a little bit. So um, I decided about a year and a half ago to have bariatric surgery um, because I was overweight and unhappy and very unhealthy. And um, I had tried everything and this was one of those tools, it was kind of like the last straw. But when I decided to have bariatric surgery, I had a close friend who had had it, um, and she had a lot of success from it where she didn't have success before. And I thought, why not try this crazy thing, um, having this surgery altering my body um, in the name of getting healthy. So I did about a year's worth of research and finally decided that the gastric bypass was right for me, or I thought, and then insurance had um, other plans and I ended up having the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And the vertical sleeve gastrectomy is the one where they cut out about 80% of your stomach and then they remove the part that they cut out. Um, so right now my stomach is about 20% of what it used to be and it holds only about four ounces of um, food at any one time. Uh, so anyways, decided to have that. Um, I live in Oregon. I went down to California to have my surgery because uh, the insurance that I have, they would pay for it there and they wouldn't pay for it local. So go figure. Um, so my, my stats, my heaviest weight, uh, which was uh, just uh, you know a couple weeks before I started my pre-op diet, was 242 pounds. Um, I actually gained about five pounds in order to hit the BMI benchmark to qualify for insurance for this surgery. Um, my surgery weight was 236 pounds. Um, my current weight is 200.6 pounds. So that's a loss of one pound this week. Um, and I can tell you that I really, really, really struggled with the fact that I had only lost one pound. Um, it took me a little while. And then what I did is that I, I went around um, and I found some motivation on the internet, looked up what one pound looks like. And let me show you, this is what one pound looks like. This is 16 ounces or one pound. So here you go. Actually, I'll show you the brand because I love this peanut butter. It's awesome. Um, anyways, this, this is one pound. Now I know this could be denser or less dense than a pound of fat, but just a good representation. There you go. One pound off of my body. Okay. So looking at this, I'm not so disappointed anymore. Yes, it's less than what I have been losing. However, um, it's more than nothing, right? So um, I'll go with it, right? I, like I said, I haven't stalled yet. And so one pound loss is still a one pound loss and we're still going in the right direction. It's just a little bit slower this week. Um, so my goal weight is 130 pounds and I'm five foot four inches tall. And the reason why I chose that goal weight, it wasn't something that was given to me by my surgeon's office or anything like that. I chose that goal weight because it's right in the mid range of what is considered a healthy BMI for my height. And so I'm going for a BMI of 22. Now, if I get down to 130 and I think, oh, this is way too small, or this is right, or that, you know, I could stand to lose five more pounds, I'll reassess at that point. But at this time, that's my goal. So I have 70.6 pounds left. Um, and that sounds like a really big number, but at this point I have lost 41.4 um, pounds. Uh, so in 
what, in nine weeks? So that's so not too shabby. Um, so if I do another nine weeks, um, that'll be, you know, more than halfway to my 70 pound um, from now goal. Um, you know, I've, be, I've started to become more active this week. So that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't lose as much. Um, I'm probably gaining muscle. I did lose inches. Um, so I lost about three inches overall last week, which is awesome. Um, but I did not, um, you know, I, I didn't lose as much weight as I wanted to. That's why it's important to uh, take your measurements and take your photos because that way you can compare your photos from different weeks and you can compare your measurements from different weeks. Um, and I really think that that's really helpful um, because there's a lot of times on your, um, you know, your scale doesn't move or it goes backwards and you might gain. Um, and that has a lot to do with, um, well, one of the reasons, um, it, like I said, is because I've been more active, right? So I'm actively building muscle. I, I spent a lot of time being swallowed by the couch previous to my surgery. And so I lost a lot of muscle mass. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm gaining a lot of muscle and um, I'm losing fat. And yes, fat weighs the same amount as muscle does. However, muscle is more dense than fat. So what that means is if fat takes up this much space and muscle takes up this much space, this could be one pound of fat and this could be one pound of muscle, right? But they take up less space. So if your scale stays the same because you lost a pound of fat, but you gained a pound of muscle, your body should be changing and you should see that in your measurements and in your photos and how your clothes fit, okay? So clothes are starting to fit a lot better. This, um, you know, it's not super tight on me right now. It's, there's actually some room in the sleeve um, whereas before it would have been like skin tight. Actually, I haven't worn it in months because it hasn't fit. Um, you know, just things like that, like like this bracelet, right? I haven't worn this bracelet in forever. And look, I can slip my finger under it um, with room to spare, see? Okay, just little things like that. Uh, those are called non-scale victories or NSVs. Look forward to those. Um, I bought myself a ring. I don't fit into my wedding ring. This is fake, um, but um, I don't fit into my wedding ring. And so I've gotten used to spending about $12 every six months to buy myself something fake that looks like a wedding ring that I can wear. Well, I was wearing a size nine and this is a size eight. So my hands are getting smaller, right? So although I lost one pound. I'm not gonna say only one pound. One pound is a big deal. Although a one pound loss is less than what I have been losing, I am seeing it in how my clothes fit, how my jewelry fits, um, right? How my watch fits, how my pants fit. I was wearing a tight 16 when I had this surgery. And right now I'm sitting very comfortably um, in, a, in a size 12, I believe they are. Yeah, I think they're size 12 um, jeans and they fit really nice. I don't feel like I have to pop them off after I'm done eating or if I'm gonna go sit on the couch. Whereas before, I would get home from work, take my jeans off, put, in comfy, put on comfy pants and then go sit on the couch because sitting in my jeans was not comfortable on the couch. And I love jeans and I want to be comfortable in my jeans. And so, um, so I'm really comfortable right now. So those are, those are some um, wins, right? And when it comes to being more active, uh, like I told you on my last video, you know, uh, my big reveal was that I decided to become a beach body coach again. I was one years ago. I absolutely love the programs. What I really liked about them is at the time I was traveling for work uh, once a quarter, but it was for a week. And so it wasn't a lot, but it was a significant amount of time. And I'm not a gym person. I don't like standing and going on a treadmill and just walking or going on a bike and doing those kinds of things. They're tedious and they're boring and I hate them and I would not do them. So I found Beachbody. I started becoming a coach and I would do my workouts in my hotel room. So I'd pop up in my computer. You can also do it on your smartphone because they have an app. Um, pop it open, 
play the, um, the workout that I wanted to do. It takes very little space in your room. Uh, do your workout 30 minutes or so, depending on the program that you're doing. And then you're done for the day. Take your shower and move on with your life. Um, and I lost a ton of weight. Uh, but for whatever reason, I got into my own head and I stopped becoming a coach. Um, it was too hard or I don't know, whatever it was, whatever my excuse was. Um, and the, the weight just piled on. So it was four years ago that I was a coach. Um, and then I stopped and the weight just piled on and it piled on and it piled on and it piled on. And I look back at those photos and I think, dang, if I would have just stuck with it, could you imagine where I'd be right now? I would be at my goal and more and healthy and fit and all the things. Instead, I kept quitting, so I kept having to start over again. That's the problem. Um, anyways, so I became a beach body coach again. Uh, and I, I can tell you there are days where I think, ah, I don't really wanna work out. What are some excuses that I can have to not work out? And I'll come up with all kinds of excuses. Um, somebody else is in the room with me. Uh, I just ate. Oh, I didn't get enough water in. I really need to sit and concentrate on take, getting in my water. Um, it's too late, it'll keep me up. I don't wanna take another shower. Uh, my exercise clothes are dirty. So what, put your exercise clothes on dirty. They're gonna get dirty again. So I've had to decide to be bigger than my excuses. My end goal is bigger than my excuses, right? And so I actually made a vision board. I made it a while ago, now, but I have it hung up now. Here, I'll show you guys. I'll take it off the wall and I'll show you what my vision board says. Here you go. Right here, down in the corner. This is all the health stuff. Tone up, make myself happy a chance to live longer, right? That's that's huge. Uh, digital distraction, that's for all things digital, right? Put them down every once in a while. And I have, <laughs> I have Julia Roberts, cause I love her smile and I just wanted to be happy, right? Um, a lot of this other stuff is about vacationing and I never really got to finish it. I got some blank spots that need to be filled in. Uh, but huge section right here on getting healthy, on being healthy. Uh, visualize it, you guys. Put it up somewhere where you see it every day. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it on the wall in your office. Wherever you're going to see it every day, visualize what you're doing and be bigger than your excuses, right? That's key. Be bigger than your excuses. It also helps have support from friends. If your friends aren't supporting you, if your family's not supporting you, turn off the noise and walk away. I'm not saying get rid of your friends and family, but if they can't support you, lean on people who can, lean on people who do. Uh, join those Facebook groups that I keep talking about, right? There's tons of support in there. If you join a group and it's not for you, jump out of it and join another group. Um, you know, I have a Facebook page, join in there. I put motivational stuff in there all the time. I'll put the link down in the in the comments or rather in the uh, in the notes section of this video. Um, you know, join me. I'd love to be motivation for you. Um, and then speaking of that, I've got a challenge group coming up with my beach body. Um, we're going to do 21 day fix, 21 days. Um, there's some eating, um, there's some menus in there that I'm going to send to you. There's lots of motivation. There's a community that comes together. Um, I help guide and motivate, but everybody in the group motive helps motivate everybody else. Um, and then there's, there's workouts, there's daily workouts, 30 minutes a day, press play. It's 2% of your day. You can do it. It's awesome. I'll put the link below on that too. Um, anyways, just a real quick, I just wanted to jump on here, say hello, give you my nine week update. Not a ton happened last week. Um, but, uh, I got a lot in store for you for week 10. And I'm really excited for that because I have a lot of things going on coming up for week 10. Um, some of the things that I really want to talk about in week 10 are like, how do I cook for my family, right? I've got uh, two teenagers and a husband who are not on my plan. So how do I cook for them and stay true to my goals? And then um, how do I make time to, to work out every day? 
You know, how do I make time for myself? How do I, how do I have that self care where I didn't have it before? So some of the things I'm going to talk to you about in week 10, it really helps my channel. If you hit the like, uh, or hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit the bell. The bell will alert you when I post a video. Um, and we'll see you next week, guys. Thanks.